Hey, what's up guys, Nintendo Tips here, and we're back with another video, and this one will be about Cuphead. And this is the Nintendo Switch version, and this channel is not called Xbox Tips or anything. And I'm playing Cuphead on the Nintendo version, not um, PlayStation or Xbox or anything. Now, as you saw from the title, we will be skipping Captain Briny Beard and fighting the Root Pack. But first, let's go through the tutorial. And also, recently, the Delicious Last Course has just came out a week ago. So that's exciting. All right, duck to crouch. B, tap for a short jump. Hold for a long jump. All right, then dash. Now in midair, jump and then dash. All right, descend, down, and then B. You can't descend on solid things like this. You can only jump, but you can do it on a little bit short platforms like that. Why? To shoot. And then you have to hold for rapid fire. All right, and then R to lock in place. And you have to hit the target there. Then to parry, you have to press B. Yes. And then to parry a ghost, I mean, it, in order to revive a dead person, you have to parry a ghost. And it only works in two-player mode. Right. And A for an EX move. Usually it's a normal one. For example, for this move, it's a bigger version of it. And for this move, it's a bigger version of it, but in all directions. But if you have a super art, then you can do this. An extremely powerful move. EX moves are just moves that are more powerful than your average moves. Coin, a coin would be here, but I collected it already and I used it for the shop. And coins can be used for items in the shop, of course. Alright, time to leave this house and do Botanic Panic. So the first boss in the game can either be Goopy Legrande or the Root Pack. We'll do it on regular because regular is the way that you have to play for the entire game in order to collect the contracts from people. Alright, this is my favorite music too. Now, this potato spits out dirt balls and sometimes worms. Now, you can usually parry them, but I'm really bad at parrying, so I probably have really bad examples. Alright, then in the next stage, it's an onion that cries, but if you don't attack it, it turns into a radish and it makes the last stage harder. I would rather you just attack the onion and deal with it, because the last stage is already the hardest stage, of course. Alright, now that we've defeated this onion, we move on to the carrots. Which, he kind of spits out carrots at you, which is kind of weird. And then he tries to hit you with weird rings with his third eye, I guess. Right. Now, at first, this boss might be hard, but if you follow my simple directions, then you're probably going to be okay. Alright, the boss should be done pretty soon. The, the early guys don't have as much health as the newer guys in, for example, Equal Isle 2 or 3. There we go. I've just finished the boss. That should be the easiest way to do it. It's kind of the only way to do it, so that's good. Alright, and you also get a grade after every single cup at match. And I got... a B. Okay, I'm fine with that. Alright, 
And now, time to show you the glitch. Now, usually, spoiler alert, in Inkwell Isle 3, in order to connect the bridge, I guess the road bridge, you have to defeat Captain Brinybeard. But, I figured out a glitch when you have the delicious last course in order to basically kind of skip Captain Brinybeard for a little while. Until, of course, you need his contract. So, what you have to do is go to Inkle Isle 3, but in this boat, not the usual way you do from Inkle Isle 2. Alright, and now you're on the other side. And technically, um, now you don't have to do Captain Briny Beard for a while. And instead, you can start with Calamaria earlier now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And by the way, this glitch might be out of the way once the Delicious Last Course gets an update or something. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you later.